Hi, my name is Janice and welcome to Janice Designs. Here's my first tutorial today and I will teach you how to superimpose a pattern over another image in, in Adobe Illustrator. So before we get into it, why Illustrator? Well, Adobe Illustrator is a professional design software commonly used by graphic designers or other professional designers to create professional, beautiful artworks and designs for commercial or non-commercial purposes. But if you do not have a graphic design degree, but you want to learn anyway, well, no problem. My tutorials can help you learn the basics of Illustrator to create beautiful professional designs or graphics to be sold in the marketplace like Creative Market, Master Bundles, Design Cards, and lots, lots more. And start creating a passive income for yourself today. So let's get into it. So today, as you can see my screen here, there's a mark with a pattern over it. So this, today we are going to recreate this, um, this project. Okay, so we are going to learn how to superimpose this pattern over this image in Illustrator. Before you um, start with the Illustrator, if you're not familiar with the uh, program, um, I'm currently using not the latest version. Mine is the uh, Illustrator CS6, uh, which is already installed in my computer. But if you do not have um, this software, you can always Google. Uh, let me just bring it over here. You can just Google Ill <coughs> sorry, Illustrator and it will bring you up the um, the most uh, uh, latest software which is Ill Illustrator CC and you can choose a plan or you can do uh, start with a free 30 day trial and get into it, it's pretty straightforward just download it into your computer and you can start running the program and so, um, before we uh, design, redesign this, I would like to, you to download the uh, this pattern which I've created. Uh, you can download under the freebie section in this website, or you could go under this blog post and uh, click the download button to download this pattern um, itself. I've created this uh, special pattern it's all in um, vector graphics if you can see I painted this flowers and I brought it over to Illustrator and <clears throat> I created this pattern it's not it's just uh, it's not just a random pattern but the pattern that actually has a flowing design so when you put it all together the design flows so there's no um, there's no uh, gaps in between you can't really see it right so that's why it's called a, a pattern because there's an overflowing design okay so um, it will be under colorful daisy pattern vector okay drag this pattern into the swatches panel so under your right side right panel where you can see this many little boxes here that's called the swatches panel and open it and drag this design this pattern inside the swatches panel and I want you to double click it okay I want you to double click it once you drag inside just double click it right okay as you can see it's uh, moved out with I just make sure this is untick and just take the size tile to art okay okay all right and click done after you click done what it does is um, if you draw a bounding box here you fill with you draw a boundary box here and when you click over this pattern it fills up the whole you see there's an overflowing pattern here so you can see the patterns all continuing continuing 
So that's the purpose of dragging in to the swatches panel. We want to create that overflowing design and you can superimpose it with any uh, path that you create. So let's recreate this pattern. So we'll bring in a new image here. We go to file, place, go to where your um, go to where your images are. You can superimpose on a bag, on a towel, on the clock. But today we'll try we'll try to superimpose this mark the image on a mark. Okay, just bring it back here. Okay, now sometimes when we move about, we move this. We don't want this image to move about too much. So if you put Control Two or Command Two on Apple, Control Two on PC and Command Two on Apple, click on the pen tool and start tracing it, tracing your mark using the pen tool. It takes a bit of practice, but once you get it, it's actually very easy. Now we just want an outline, so we'll just delete the fill. Once you get into it, it's actually pretty, very e pretty easy. It's quite fun too. If it's just a basic design, it's actually quite fun. It's not so tedious. go and you click the selection tool the black arrow and you've already dragged your uh, pattern in so what you're gonna do is make sure you select your path that which you created and click on the pattern swatch and, but we're not over yet excuse me we're not over yet we'll just remove the outline we don't want that so you click on hit click on the stroke here oops and just uh, press the stroke the slash the none the none button here okay to remove the stroke so the fun this is the fun part okay so you make sure you select um your pattern go to transparency now where's the transparency box okay we'll go to windows we'll find the transparency box we'll open the transparency box okay and under this uh, panel here, we'll select multiply. So what it does is, it sort of blends in the cup to give you a more realistic feel. You can play around with the opacity, 60%, maybe that's too light. Probably, I would say probably 90% would just be nice. So you see, and um, this looks quite realistic. And there's an overflowing pattern as well, it's very easy. And if you're not satisfied, you can always go back to the cup and adjust your path. And there you go. You have just superimposed a pattern over another image in Illustrator. I hope you learned something today and thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to Janice Design's um, YouTube channel and follow me for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.